good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Lennon's World. The weather clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for April 19th to May 1st. April 19th to 23rd, miles of good agreement. We have a trough here, positive height anomalies here, positive height anomalies here, and we have a trough over the Northeast. Now these positive height anomalies here in the green line will, will sink into the um, central U.S. The pattern remains active with a couple of systems affecting the nation. And we're going to take a look here right now. Um, okay, that's another map I want to show. Okay. This is what I want to show. Okay, um, we're going to go, we're going to look here. Here's our first storm system that affected the east today. And then we're going to go forward. And here comes the next system, bringing mixed precipitation uh, to the higher elevations here. That's ice. This is snow here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we go forward in time, and then it goes into the east. So this is the GFS. And then here comes the next one. Out of the Rockies here, a lot of heavy rain. So um, these systems will bring up heavy rain and possible uh, severe storms to portions of the plains. And the GFS is more aggressive with the system than the other models. And this will cause heavy rain and storms. Expect rain and higher elevation snows in the west. Energy reaches the Rockies and the plains. Expect Precipitation to develop late in the week, with snow possible in the central Rockies to the north central plains, while heavy rain and strong storms may occur further south and the southeast. So uh, we're looking here at the GFS, and this is later in the week. This is the storm system here, and then we look at the European. See, it's a lot weaker. GFS, European, GFS, European. So um, that's what we expect during this period. Now we're going to look at April 22nd to the 26th. Now, um, the flow is forecast to be rather flat, and the trough is forecast over the Bering Sea, which you can see right here, right, right here. And we have a weak trough over the northeast that weakens in time, and near to above normal heights are forecast across the, the remainder of the nation. So we're starting here with the GFS, as I always do, and I go forward in time. And then we're at 26, and you see the trough here, rather flat flow, near to above normal heights forecast, like I said, across the remainder of the nation. And then we take a look at the rest of the models. They're in good agreement. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures for the West. Anomalies near four degrees above normal. Below normal temperatures are forecast from the plains to the eastern seaboard. But the anomalies are four degrees above nor below normal, and for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for the western states. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 55 percent above normal precipitation forecast for this region here, and probability of occurrence is 40 to 55 percent. Now we're going to look at the period for April 27th to May 1st, and to do this, we have to look and see what's going on over in Asia. Let's see if I got the right maps up. Okay. Now, um, here we are eight. We're going to go to the 27th. And you see we have a ridge here across um, Eastern Asia. So this in turn favors a ridge in the east. Let me try to get this. It keeps jumping around. So this forecast is a ridge here. So the model's a good agreement. Let me go to the end of the period. I gotta pull this over here. OK, 
Okay, this is the 30th. We have a ridge, trough fear in the west. Most of the models are indicating that. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here for the west. I'm forecasting numbers of 4 to 8 degrees are forecast, and near to below normal temperatures are forecast across the eastern U.S. with the ridge with the numbers near 4 to 2 degrees or less below normal. And for precipitation, come for above normal precipitation for the western states again. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 55 percent, and we have above normal precipitation forecast for this area here. Probability of occurrence is 40 to 55 percent. So that's the long range weather forecast schedule for April 19th to May 1st. Thanks for coming to Jim Money's World of Weather and have a good day.